Europeans in general are living longer and healthier lives than ever before. Healthcare services provided throughout the EU are generally speaking of high quality. Citizens prefer to receive the care they need close to their home. However, sometimes it's better or easier for them to receive health care abroad. In a 2007 survey, 4% of European citizens said they'd received medical treatment abroad in 2006. What's the reason for this? In Frankfurt, for example, Professor Wagner, a renowned pneumologist, treats patients from other countries. About 5% of our patients here in Frankfurt come from other European countries for special consultations or for a particular treatment. In need of a special lung operation, Luca Onorante left Italy to come to Germany. He wanted to be treated by one of the best surgeons in the field who's a specialist in his condition. I had a pulmonary problem, which needed a specialist. My doctor in Italy advised me to come to see Professor Wagner. The main reason was because my condition needed an operation by someone who was an expert in the field, which I found here in Germany. The need for certain treatment leads some patients to go abroad. In other cases, the hospital just across the border is just closer to where the patient lives. As confirmed by the European Court of Justice, citizens have the right to access health care in another member state and for the reimbursement of costs of such a treatment if certain conditions are fulfilled. To improve cross-border care and to make the rules clearer, the European Commission is proposing a better defined framework for everyone involved in cross-border health care, patients and health care providers alike. The objective is threefold, to clarify and promote the right of patients to gain access to health care in another EU country, to ensure high quality and safe cross-border health care throughout Europe, and to foster cooperation between health care systems. This is what we aim to clarify with this new directive. Patients will all get the same clear information and guarantees on cross-border health care. Although cross-border treatment for patients should be problem-free, Joseph Caruana from Malta had a quite different experience. Having tried various EU countries, he finally found the best treatment in the Netherlands at the University Hospital in Maastricht. It is a major operation, which is a total replacement of the aorta. I cannot expect Malta to have the facilities or the financial strength to do these operations. It doesn't make sense. So I expect to take advantage in centers like this where they do an operation a week of my type. The European Commission's draft directive will bring clarity about when a patient is allowed to receive treatment abroad and have it reimbursed and it will make clear who is responsible to ensure quality and safety of care, including in cross-border settings. Let's be clear. We are not seeking to replace 27 different healthcare systems with a single one. Member states remain fully responsible for organizing and financing their home system in accordance with their traditions and their needs. What we want is to offer all European patients the same transparent set of principles for cross-border health care, which will fully respect the wide variety of national systems. Giving patients access to the most appropriate treatment doesn't necessarily mean they have to travel from one country to another. For example, thanks to telecommunications technology, the operation by a doctor in Germany was monitored by a specialist in the hospital of Maastricht. Fostering cooperation between healthcare systems is an important key element of the directive. Professor Wagner himself heads up a network of European experts guaranteeing a high level of diagnostic quality.
Ebenen. Zum einen ist es ein Expertennetzwerk für Patienten mit Mukoviszidosis. It's a network of experts who specialize in the treatment of mucoviscidosis or cystic fibrosis. Their mission is to make information available. And they should, as a member of the network, answer questions from doctors and patients. And this regardless of the member state in which the problem has occurred. The principle is this. European specialists can talk to each other via an internet forum to exchange points of view and provide a complete diagnosis to the patient. It's therefore no longer the patient who travels, but the information. This concept is at the very heart of the Baltic eHealth project, a Danish initiative on cross-border healthcare collaboration undertaken by the hospital at Funen in the south of the country and co-financed by the European Commission. The Funen hospital covers a major geographical area with a rather aging population that tends to suffer from serious illnesses and chronic diseases. Faced with a heavy demand for health care and, importantly, a lack of local practitioners, the establishment of a pilot project such as Baltic eHealth makes good sense. The purpose of Baltic eHealth consists of finding a technical solution for connecting the healthcare data network of Norway, Sweden and Denmark to the healthcare data network of Estonia and Lithuania. An example. Leo Bjarne Hansen, a 70-year-old with a problem in his right knee, has an X-ray in Funen. The result is provided to an Estonian radiologist on a server. And he'll make a diagnosis in his own language using a template. Thanks to the system, it's instantly translated into Danish. As you can observe here, the answer from Estonia has arrived. We see that I've received an answer regarding the examination requested by a local doctor. I'm confident in what the doctors do here, and I think it's a good idea that they can correspond with their colleagues and other specialists abroad. It puts me at ease. Cross-border healthcare can be beneficial to all. Patients, doctors, hospitals and health systems. The European Commission is aiming to make clear the conditions under which treatment abroad can be reimbursed and also to clarify where the responsibility for the quality and safety of healthcare lies. The cross-border healthcare directive is an important step to achieve these goals.